all right this is a another small video I wanted to share on uh, ICC profiling and tools this uh, so piece of software uh, serves many 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 purposes at least it's invaluable in my toolbox it's, it's called ICC profile inspector and it is free all right you guys uh, who are on a Mac you get something that uh, uh, is along these lines for free under the color sync inspector because you can also uh, browse the contents of an ICC profile from uh, the, the supplied tools that are come with uh, Mac OS 10 or 11 or whatever but under Windows these tools are you know not supplied with Windows so if they exist out there all the better and this one you can find at I'm showing you the link over here www where is it again it's over here yes color.org profile view if just look under resources sorry under resources and under resources you find ICC profile inspector and you just download it and install it it's no more complicated than that so uh, once you have it installed you know launch it and the this this will not uh, come alive until you hit the browse button so when you hit the browse button you can be taken anywhere on your hard drive but under Windows it's always this path that's the important path to traverse because that's where Windows stores ICC profiles but your ICC profiles could come from other sources or other locations on your hard drive as well so let me just hit for instance Adobe RGB 1998 and hit the open button okay up comes the information that can be decoded by ICC profile inspector from this profile uh, there's a save as button but <laughs> I never use it I guess you can modify a few things and decide to save the modified profile but I haven't explored this much myself so the important information that you might become familiar with is over here that's called the header I all ICC profiles have this structure they have a header section and then they have a list of what they call tags and the number over here will vary by types of profile for instance over here if I double click the CPRT tag that's the copyright tag we get copyright 2000 Adobe Systems Incorporated the description tag DEST is the name that's used to display the profile name let's say in Photoshop or in my application that's what I hunt for because that is unique that has to be unique the white point WPT media white point you see is shown here in sort of normalized XYZ where Y is 1 so there's no luminance information over here and the X and Z are normalized uh, to the maximum whatever and this shows here the XY, small x, small y, the chromaticity. Uh, there can be as much, uh, you know, precisions or uh, zeros after the point, uh, but it's uh, not all that useful beyond three or four digits. So here, what we have, you see, it's a graph that shows. It's called a chromaticity diagram because you recognize the horseshoe shape. And over here, these dotted lines show uh, the extent of what is called the sRGB gamut. So here's the location of the white point inside this triangle. So the white point is somewhat on the bluish side, hard to tell, but uh, uh, D50 white point is 3457 and 3585 so it's a little bit closer to this end here you see and as we progress from left to right the colors become bluish because this you see is blue 
and this is red and this is yellow and this is green and so on so let me cancel this one so this is useful the black point is usually zero that not much uh, to be view here it shows the same thing but you see it's rarely populated by application the TRC there's red there's green there's blue and this shows the tone reproduction curve and and uh, uh, there are many things that could be encoded here but in this case all there is is an exponent that says gamma equals 2.2 and this curve is a plot of that gamma exponent where you have over here input and over here output and notice the numbers so this suggests that it's encoded in 16-bit form there's a lot of precision in, t in, s in these profiles if I open the green it's the same thing if I open the blue it's the same thing they could be you know changing the color over here so to match the name whatever but they don't look it's a free pro uh, program so we have to uh, satisfy ourselves at some point uh, over here XYZ uh, there's red there's green and blue because it's an RGB profile so if I open the first one the red double click here you see this shows the location and the tri stimulus values of the red now these are not necessarily the tri stimulus values that would be returned by an instrument if it was measuring the red on my screen because they have to be massaged to fit into a d50 sort of form so you know the it's complicated how we uh, the transformations from the measurement, the raw measurements, to the value that's ultimately encoded inside the profile. Uh, this is the green, so the green shows up here. You see, this is supposed to represent the dotted triangle sRGB. So it shows you that the Adobe RGB green is a lot further off, you know, into the green. So, so it could represent a more saturated green more saturated greens than an sRGB can could represent the blue the blue is uh, about here so you see it's about the same place as it is on the sRGB gamut all right uh, one last check the red is the same thing there's a small difference between the red also and the green because there's a small difference between I know when I check Adobe RGB and sRGB there's differences in not only in the greens but in the red as well Oh, okay, so let me try one more. This is a, a display profile. Let me see now what's an out, what an output profile looks like. All right, let's open this one. Aha! Okay, this is an output profile. And you all, again, the header is always, you know, present. Uh, the information inside it will vary, of course. See, now it's a CMYK color space, and it's a output profile before it was a display profile so let me just revert to be sure Adobe RGB see display RGB and now go back to TGAS 21 output CMYK I love this utility it's free even if you're on a Mac you could use this uh, under VMware or VirtualBox or uh, parallel desktop or whatever you know, uh, because there's interesting information not necessar necessarily available under ColorSync. Uh, but, okay, so it's your choice. Description, it's uh, again the name, the inside name of the profile. You see how this one is quirk? Why do they have .icc? Because they encoded the file name under the profile description tag. Not uh, the best uh, practice, the best things to do. The white point. Now, the white point in an output profile is different from a nice white point in uh, RGB or display profile uh, because this now is the true white point that uh, if you were to convert it to lab or if you were to make a measurement of the paper white and display these va the paper white uh, in XYZ, you truly get this information because it's uh, reflected modes and it's uh, expected that the maximum will be one so the higher the y here you can tell uh, the closer it is to one to the more reflecting uh, the, the light the paper does uh, this is 
a good uh, also uh, rendition of the chromaticity 3406 and 3551 which is not that bad or that uh, not that far from d50 here the shad is a chromatic adaptation tag this will have one on the diagonal if nothing uh, happens if this was not used at all but it was it's there because it's a requirement of a version 4 profile if i'm not mistaken cprc is a copyright so now you know it comes from x right it was generated with an x right profiling package probably i1 profiler now there's one two three and four five six L important tags here the first one a to b a to b literally it reads like it reads like that zero is perceptual one is colorimetric and two is saturation and uh, a to b means device to led or device to pcs b to a means led to device so for instance in this two these two tables when you're in photoshop and you're converting from some rgb image to a cmyk profile the half of the conversion takes place using this tag because it converts from LED to CMYK so these are what's called in ancient times separation table and these in modern speak the zero in the one but especially in the one A to B one is the proofing transform meaning when you open up an image that has this profile uh, tagged to it in Photoshop for instance it will always use this tag the information inside this tag to transform the uh, appearance of the uh, device colors to that of the monitor always 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 this is not selectable there's no interface in photoshop to do this now let's see quickly uh, are there other in <laughs> interesting not very much here fogra whatever dark mode this is a press profile i created once and there could be a little bit more information depending on what the system was cxf is a tag that uh, you will meet more and more because it is uh, an invention uh, by x right uh, the view uh, uh, illuminant uh, i don't I'm not sure here what this is populated with this looks like 500 candelas per meter square that's the P1 condition for um, proofing under ISO 3664. This value, I have no idea where it comes from. And again, in CPRT, let's see what, oh, this copyright is x right again, but it's encoded in a different way. So I'm not going to go further here. If you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer. But I think this is a useful utility, and there's a few things you can do if you are bold enough you could try modify this this is an a to b tag and you see its content you can go into the multi-dimensional lot and these are encoded in hexadecimal i'm not sure but this channel one represents black or cyan magenta yellow black i'm not sure which is which and you see it varies from uh, 0 to 16 and I think this is uh, representative of the green, the grid points inside the profile. And you see as I vary the, this channel tree, which is, see, there's more channel that, than, than it's needed because these profiles are made to represent also what's called multidimensional uh, colors, uh, like multicolor profile, like profiles with six, six or seven or eight colors. So they have to be able to accommodate that. See, the, the ICC profile scheme can accommodate up to 11. Uh, up to 11, yes, uh, channel. That's a lot of profiling information. Okay, i stop now here because I've been talking too much. But I hope I gave you the taste to download and experiment with this free application. I like it when it's free.